What up world, this is The Goal Net recording live here from outside Chicago. Today is part two of the CCM Axis review. In case you live under a rock, Axis is a brand new product for 2020. This replaces the famed Premier line that was around for over a decade. Too lazy to do the math and actually count the number of years. So this is a huge review. I think this is probably one of the reviews that people are most curious to see just because of the Premier line being gone. So I hope everybody tunes in and enjoys this. I mentioned this is part two. Part one was the glove and blocker. There is a 15 minute video on both the Instagram TV channel and the YouTube channel talking us through the glove and blocker. Definitely a blocker heavy review there because I think that is one of the biggest changes, um, you know, going from Axis to Premiere. So with that said, let's do a deep dive onto the pads. And again, this isn't going to compare necessarily the spec for spec, the Axis versus the E-Flex or the Premiere. That video always or does already exist. So check out again the YouTube channel or the Instagram TV channel and you will see it there. Today's review is focused on the performance pro of the product. How did I like it? So the number one reason you're watching this video is to know, is this a good goal pad? The answer is yes, this is a good goal pad. Had nothing but positive experiences in using the axis on the ice. In fact, I would go so far as to say if I never saw anybody watching this channel play hockey, play goalie, and they said, what pad could you recommend to me? I might put Axis at the top of the list because I think it is truly a pad that almost every goalie can be successful in. Especially when we look at the customizer, which is one of the things that CCM does better than anybody in the industry in terms of the breadth of the options they have available and with their menu style offering and the pictures, making it very clear for people to understand what a recess knee is versus a non-knee recess, where leather straps are added, tight fit versus loose fit, etc. So under the context that you can tune this pad just about better than any other pad on the market, and that at some roads, it's kind of very middle of the road in terms of who it would appeal to, I think that I could almost blindly recommend this pad to people just in the sense that it is stiff, but not too stiff. The boot flexes, but it's not too soft. The pad has some torsional flex, but it's not a marshmallow. The rebounds are hot, but they're not too crazy. It's just going to appeal to a lot of goalies in that way. And I would say that if you were to look at any individual component on this pad and say, you know, is this alone a breakthrough feature? No, probably not. I don't think that there is any breakthrough new to the market feature on Axis, but that's not really the point. The point is that all of these pieces come together to make a pad that is extremely playable. If you followed any of the content I do on Instagram and my stories after I get off the ice, I always share a few topical thoughts in my head. I remember when I first put this pad on, one of the things I said is that it is one of the most playable products I've ever used. And it just, it just kind of works well. And um, I'm almost rambling right now because it's a, really hard tin, it's a really hard thing to articulate. Sometimes it's really easy to point to a pad and say that the knee block design enables you to do this. And really with E-Flex, everything just works well together. It's like a a symphony, um, you know, where the violin and the cellos and the trumpets and the timpani guy in the back, you know, banging away on the drums, they all have to work together to make the song sound great. And that's what the Axis pad is. So I'll try and get a bit more technical. Um, and again, it's a little hard on this product because it is one of those things. It's a true synergy. The pieces come together that make something that works really well together. So hopefully that makes sense, but let's try and go a little bit normal style and explain some of the technical features on this pad and the review around them. So I think probably the single biggest change to me on these pads versus Premier is the inner gusset or the sliding surface. The classic rounded Premier inner roll is gone and we have a flat square edge a la E-Flex. This pad slides significantly better than E-Flex and it slides significantly better than Premier. 
Not the fastest sliding pad on the market by any means, but it's a very good slide in the sense that the materials work better to help you slide and give you a boost of speed versus, you know, just two pads as an example, versus E-Flex versus Premier. If you have any gear that's two, three, four years old, I definitely think that Axis may slide better than those, but again, it's not the fastest pad on the market for sliding, but it's really, really good. Um, is this new flat inner leg channel. I did get the speed skin. And one of the interesting things, and it's really important to understand, and again, using the concert analogy, that you've gotta look at all the pieces together. Speed skin on its, loan, on its own, I do find slides faster than like Clarino or Gen Pro or Weave or any of the different materials we might get on the inner sliding surface. But there were times I would say it was definitely lagging behind some of the other speed performance sliding materials on the market. That's not the case so with Axis. And the reason being is that the actual material used on the outer skin is only part of the performance story. The rest of it actually comes in the shape of the materials used underneath. So this inner edge, um, which I have featured here in the center of the camera, is a lot harder than on the Premiere or the E-Flex and that stiffer internal landing surface and also I believe the way the knee and the calf wing are done really enables this pad to slide faster than the E-Flex or the Premier. And again, it's a good sliding pad um, compared to a lot of the other products in the market. So kudos to CCM for really enabling better sliding with Axis compared to any of their other lines. And one of the other key features to note, this pad feels exceptionally light on the leg. Uh, even though this is a stiffer pad, so in my head that means, you know, it's for a goalie that at the end of the day, it's whatever you like. Some people like soft pads, some people like stiff pads. Some people, you know, Andre Vasilevsky, to my knowledge, uses a pretty stiff pad. He is probably the most acrobatic goalie in the league at the moment. Um, so saying that, you know, that's for a robotic goalie versus more of a reflex-based goalie isn't quite true, but still to kind of follow that, thought process, you know, this is a stiffer pad, which is gonna be maybe for a goalie that, you know, is gonna play less like Jonathan Quick, I'll say, and more like uh, J.S. Jaguar. Again, even though the, the lines are blurring day over day, but anyway, back on track, you know, putting this pad on, you can see how thin the thigh rise is. Um, so looking at the camera, this area right here is dramatically thinned out versus the Premier line. It's probably one of the thinnest pads in the market. You really notice that lack of weight in a good way when you play. This pad's just playable. Like it feels really light on your legs. So where I was going earlier is that I felt really agile. You know, I wasn't making crazy, you know, Jonathan quick like saves, but still just moving, recovering, T pushing, uh, butterflying up. The pad is light, so I just felt agile and quick. Um, and again, one of the most remarkable things about Axis is that it's probably the second stiffest pad on the market, um, but CCM achieved this with really great lightweight. Generally speaking, stiffer foams are heavier, softer foams are lighter, so pads that are very lightweight almost do so at the detriment of the core stiffness and core strength. The pad may feel okay at first, but because it's made of such soft foam, it's gonna break down quickly over time and turn into a marshmallow. Axis doesn't do that. It is a, you know, like I said, probably the second stiffest pad on the market. So if you want a stiff pad, I think I got one internal break under the knee, no up top, no external. It's gonna work great for you in that regard, um, but it's still light. So that is probably, if I think about kind of the most definitive thing or the most impressive thing about Axis, that's really it. So again, this is a really hard thing maybe to show or define in the video, but the pad is playable, it plays really light, it feels really quick, and it slides better than any of the existing CCM products and a lot of the other products, are, again, especially if you have a pad that's three, four years old and you wanna upgrade, this is definitely going to slide better couple other features to note in the highs with the axis is the knee landing. Um, so being the gray area right there on the pad, um, that is CCM's 3D knee system started on Premiere 2, used on E-Flex, used on axis. CCM definitely has probably that sweet spot between the knee block is stiff enough so that it seals well. 
Um, but the actual knee landing itself, the gray piece is supple enough that it is really soft and gentle on the knees. And then CCM's quick motion strapping system, it's probably the simplest in the industry. Um, you know, three straps, a little bit of adjustment, but nothing over the top. But again, going back to the playability of any of the brands that I test regularly, CCM strapping is usually the one that I can throw on and jump out on the rink and play with and be happy. Some of the other brands, you know, I find myself tinkering with the strapping more. That's not to say one is better than the other, but it is just truly a set it and forget it product, which again goes back to the theme, probably beating this to death, but the pad is very playable and the sum of the parts work really well to make a pad that just does a good job. So trying to zoom in on the shin there, we can see some nice crisp puck marks. The last thing I wanna talk about in terms of the good performance with the Axis is the new Max Rebound Plus Foam. This is the first time we've seen this in a CCM product. Premier 2 had Max Rebound. E-Flex 4 has nothing. E-Flex 5, I don't know if it's public yet, but maybe look to see some new foam core technology in that pad. But what we can talk about today is Axis and the Max Rebound Plus absolutely outperforms the Max Rebound in the Premier. E-Flex by design isn't meant to have a hot rebound, but Axis crushes that as well. If you're using an E-Flex and thinking about switching to Axis, you will get hotter rebounds. Um, in terms of what's available in the rest of the market, Axis is probably not the hottest rebound um, pad on the market, but it's in the discussion, you know, in that second, third slot. So it's a really hot rebound product in the context of what else is available as well. And that brings me actually to one of my other points before I reached on the lows or the things I didn't really like about this product. Axis is definitely a pad that a premier goalie can jump right into with probably minimal customization. And if you're an E-Flex goalie that likes a stiffer pad or you wish you had a hotter rebound, you can jump right into Axis comfortably. If you're coming from an E-Flex, uh, but you want a pad with no rebounds, or excuse me, no knee rolls, or you want a pad with the hot rebounds, you could jump into Axis with CCM's customizer you could probably get a couple breaks internally, maybe one externally and be very happy. So that goes back to again, being one of the brightest spots of this pad is being the, you know, kind of the playability of it and that nice middle of the road, um, you know, kind of spec set as we talk about this pad. Okay, so now we're gonna focus on a few of the items with the pads um, that I'd love to see improvements on with future upcoming CCM lines. One of the things, not at all negative, but just kind of looking at the graphics as I'm talking, CCM now with Riddick, the World Junior Goalies and Demco has showed us that custom digital printing of sorts or screen printing, not exactly sure in the technology, but custom printed graphics are available. Definitely hope that comes to retail in the future. CCM to me has the richest graphics pool of any of the brands. Anybody that follows my account, even though I migrated a lot of that stuff more over to TGN Golf is, loves sneakers as well. And once the customizer is open, aside from make your own design, I could see some amazing custom graphics being possible, leveraging, you know, CCM, Heaton, and Coho's legacy graphics line as well. Um, but getting more specific on what I'd like to see kind of change, as I mentioned earlier, this pad slides better than any other CCM product and might be the second best sliding pad on the market. Um, but what is uh, still a little disappointing to me is that on bad ice, which is something that a lot of people are gonna get if you don't get a ZAM between periods or maybe practice, you know, you're on there for two hours straight or whatever, Speed Skim again performs better than it does in any other iteration, but it does slow down still on choppy ice. Um, it's not going to slide exactly the same as it does, you know, on fresh clean ice as it does at the end of the game. And the second is rebounds. As I mentioned just recently in this review, Max Rebound Plus is a big improvement. But one of the things I've noticed is the rebounds go a long way, but they don't have as much pop or as much velocity um, compared to some of the other products I've tested. So I would love to see hotter rebounds in the terms of how quickly they come off the pad face in future iterations of the Axis product. 